Hey, so we're going to be making uh, cron jobs with EventBridge on Lambda. So first thing you'll want to do is go into Lambda and just create a new function. And we're going to use a Python runtime and we'll just call this my test. And I'm going to leave this as a default and go ahead and create a function. All right. So once you create the function, you'll see this option add trigger. So under add trigger, you can select event bridge, which will allow you to create cron jobs for your Lambda. So you can have your Lambda function run um, following cron. So run under certain intervals. So right here, you'll find uh, event bridge CloudWatch events. So go ahead and select that and click on create a new rule and uh, give your rule a name, just call it my cron, and you can write a description describing your rule. So I'll just say an example for a tutorial. And down here, you'll have a schedule expression. So this is where you can specify how you want your cron job to run. So PWS cron jobs are maybe a little bit different from the cron jobs you might be used to if you've done them in the past, but not too different. I'm going to link this uh, URL here that AWS provided that's pretty helpful in describing it. So you have your minutes, hours, day of month, month, day of week, and then year. And then you have a few of these wildcard uh, characters. So like a uh, comma is to include additional. So like you could do Jan, Feb, March. You have dash, which is a duration. The asterisk is just everything. For slashes for some sort of increment. So like one tenth. Question mark is any, which is slightly different from the asterisk. These two can be the most confusing in my opinion. And then L is for uh, the last day of a month or week. W is for weekday. And then this hashtag is uh, specifies certain instances of the specified day within a month. So like here's an example, three hashtag two would be the second Tuesday of the month where the three refers to Tuesday because it's the third day of each week and the two refers to the second day part, second day of that type within the month. Okay, so suggest reading this article and they even provide you with some examples here of different crons, which I think really, really helps to look through this table. And let's go back to our Lambda function and let's say we want to do every minute. All right, and then we have to put, um, so you have these six asterisks, which is going to translate to every minute of every day of every month of every week. Uh, but you have to put it in parentheses and write cron like this. And now if we click add, we'll add in our own cron job to our Lambda. All right, so either the day of the week or day of the month would have to be uh, the question mark, meaning any or is ambiguous, but this should be every uh, every minute now that this cron will run. So we'll try add now. And yep, so it looks like now that's a valid cron job. Let's go to our code here, our Lambda function. Just go ahead and hit test and uh, save this. Give it any event name. Hit test once. And let's go to monitor. And then this, we can, from here, we can open up uh, the CloudWatch logs to make sure this is running every minute. So we'll click on our log stream. All right, so I'm going to keep refreshing till we see a new one. Okay. So you can see we just had a new uh, run. Yeah, so that's it. That's how you set up uh, cron, cron jobs for your Lambda. So you can have it run during certain minutes, hours, intervals, etc. A lot you could do with this. So it could be useful for monitoring some other AWS services where however often you set up your cron for it, it will check maybe an S3 bucket if something's been added to it and do some action based on it. There's a lot you could do with this. Be able to schedule cron jobs for your lambdas. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.